Supreme Court upholds Rajasthan's two-child policy for government jobs. The Supreme Court of India has upheld Rajasthan's two-child policy for government jobs, dismissing a challenge filed by an ex-serviceman who was disqualified from applying for a constable's position due to having more than two children. Background. The Rajasthan government implemented a rule in 2001 disqualifying individuals with more than two children from applying for government jobs. Ram Lal Jat, an ex-serviceman with three children, applied for a constable's post in the Rajasthan police in 2018, but was disqualified based on this rule. He challenged this disqualification in the Rajasthan High Court, but his plea was dismissed in 2022. Subsequently, he appealed to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court's decision. On February 20, 2024, the Supreme Court bench comprising Justices Surya Kant, Dipankar Datta, and K.V. Viswanathan upheld the Rajasthan High Court's order, effectively upholding the two-child policy for government jobs in the state. The court cited its own 2003 judgment, which deemed similar two-child policy provisions non-discriminatory and aligned with the Constitution's objective of promoting family planning. Wider Context Rajasthan is not the only state with a two-child policy for government jobs and local body elections. Several other states, including Assam, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat, have similar regulations in place. In 2021, Uttar Pradesh proposed a similar population control bill with provisions barring individuals violating the two-child norm from contesting local body elections or applying for government jobs. Implications The Supreme Court's decision upholds the legality of Rajasthan's two-child policy for government jobs. This decision may have implications for similar policies in other states and future population control initiatives in India. The ruling is likely to spark discussions around the effectiveness and ethical considerations of such policies. It is important to note that this article summarizes the key points of the Supreme Court's decision and the existing context. The topic of population control and its implementation raise complex issues with diverse perspectives. This article does not take a stance on the effectiveness or ethical implications of such policies.